him. We're so thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ and what he's done for us. And, and we meet together in this midweek service to worship our Lord and to give him praise and glory and honor for all that he has done. And so tonight, as we stand, let's worship God tonight. Let's go before his presence and say, Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for dying for our sins and, ro and rising again from the dead to set us free and to give us an opportunity to know you as our personal Lord and Savior. We just want to give you all the glory and honor tonight, Jesus. We love you. We pray, God, that you will bless this service. Accomplish your will here tonight. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Thank you all for joining us online tonight as we worship God together. We will be singing a song, Are You Washed in the Blood? Are you washed in the blood? Let's sing and worship God together. Joy, oh my soul, like when sea billows roll. 
Touch my mind, touch my soul. Make me clean, Lord Jesus, I need you. And the Lord came into my heart and he changed me forever. Forever and ever. And I'm so grateful and thankful for that tonight, that Jesus changed my life. He changed me completely. And what a blessing it is to worship him and praise him and give him honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. She's going to sing us a song tonight. Just, just may be seated. Let's keep worshiping the Lord.
God for. God's been so awesome to us. We're alive and in our right mind. So preacher will go with alive for now. We'll leave the right mind for some other time. <laughs> but it's good to worship God, to give God thanks. You know, only a true Christian can really, you know, uh, uh, can really sing along with that song. I couldn't find a word to relate to that song. God, you've been so good to me. I just want to thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me and all that you will continue to do in my life because on a daily basis, God continued to help us and to fill our life, fill that void. You know, when you have God on the inside, there is no void. The Spirit of God fills it. He brings in peace and love and joy and happiness. He brings hope. He changes us completely. And so that's what we're here to, to do tonight is to give God thanks for what he has done. Now we'll receive the offering, the, the Wednesday night offering. She's going to sing us another song. So I don't know what she's going to say when we make her work tonight. <laughs> and so as she gets us another song, we'll just receive the offering. And, and thank God all Christians spit her tithe and give the offering to the Lord. Father, thank you so much tonight for the service. And thank you for the offering tonight. We ask you bless it. We give thanks and praise to you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. for us, I'm ready for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're ready. Are all right. Ready? <laughs> She's going to sing us a song. And thank you all for joining us online tonight. Let's open up your heart to God. Let God bless you on this Wednesday night. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good.
is Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name. Amen. When we get going with that tambourine, you can't stop. <laughs> you, you don't know where to stop. You like, you know, you start getting the shakes. You got to keep the rhythm. <laughs> you miss one beat. It's not like a drum. You can pick it back up. You know. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. I want to read to you from the Old Testament tonight, from Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, chapter. 40, we'll read verse 27 through 31 throughout the end of the chapter there. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 27. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Hast thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching out of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle, eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And I want to use verse 28 as our text for tonight, especially the very first part of that, where he said, Hast thou not known, has it not, hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching out of his understanding. And I want to use that first part where he asks the question, Has thou not known? And then he asks, Has thou not heard? And I want to use that with the help of the Lord, and I want to preach in a message entitled tonight, Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard? And let's look to the Lord in prayer tonight. Father, we are so thankful for your word. We are thankful, God, that we have heard about Jesus. We have heard about this great God that we serve. And we want to appreciate all that you have done for us. And so tonight in this message, I pray that you will speak to us, remind us of the things that you have done for us. Bless and open our hearts to, to the understanding of the things that will be shared tonight that we can come to you and know you more in a, in a special way. You can touch our hearts and you can draw us closer to you. We ask for your blessing upon this message tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to preach about haven't you heard? And this, no doubt, is something that we use. Sometimes we may ask somebody this question. And a lot of times uh, it has to, it tends to deal with something bad, something bad that happened. And and somebody who is ignorant of it or they're unlearned of it, we, we, we may say to them, haven't you heard about this thing? Haven't you heard about what happened to so-and-so? You know, they fell off their bicycle and broke their knee or broke their leg or whatever. Broke their knee, that's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> they broke their knee, they, they broke their leg. Haven't you heard about them? And, or maybe you say something that happened in a certain part of the world and, and you haven't seen it on the news and somebody's talking to you and they're telling you about it. And they say, well, haven't you heard about it? Haven't you heard about that tsunami that hit uh, Indonesia? Or that earthquake that hit Haiti or something like that. And a lot of times when it's used, it's used in a negative sense because you're trying to, you know, get somebody to understand something that they did not know before. But tonight I want to use it in a positive sense and speak to us about, haven't we heard about this great God? Haven't we heard about this awesome God? His name is Jesus. Amen. Haven't you heard about him tonight? How that he loves you and he cares about you. And he died on the cross for your sins. Haven't you heard how on the third day he rose again from the dead and he came out of that tomb and said, All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Amen. Haven't you heard tonight about a God who cares about what's going on in your life? Amen. Haven't you heard about him tonight? I'm sure you have. And so shout with me if you heard. Testify tonight. Tonight is your night to testify about Jesus, how wonderful Jesus is to us. God has been so good to us tonight, and we are so thankful for everything that the Lord has done in our life. 
And the use, of, I want to, like I say, use this in a sense, I want to use it in a positive way to talk about our God. Haven't you heard who God is? Haven't you heard tonight of what he has done or what he can do? Haven't you heard about his great power? Haven't you heard that there is no other God but Jesus Christ? There is no other Godhead but the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And so the first thing I want to look at, uh, look at tonight concerning our God is, haven't you heard how awesome our God is? Amen. Haven't you heard tonight how awesome our God is? In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, the text that I read to you there, he said, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching out of his understanding. The first thing he talked about here is that this God that we serve, he is everlasting, which means God will never cease to exist. He has been in the very, the very past. He was there. He is right now in the present, and he will be in the eternal future. He will never be done away with. You know, there's a lot of things in life that comes to an end maybe there our life will come to an end one of these days we will cease to exist upon this earth there are things that we have in our personal life that may one of these days we'll have to get rid of it because it's of no use or value to us but when it comes to God he doesn't get old he doesn't just fade away with time he is there ever faithful you can call on Jesus at any time any moment any any time of the day you can wake up in the middle of the night and just speak that that name Jesus I need you and you were if you are in tune with God and you have a relationship with the Lord you can begin to feel the presence and the power of God right where you are that's the God we serve tonight haven't you heard about how faithful he is God is faithful tonight the everlasting God he will never cease to exist God inhabits eternity you see man cannot get rid of God they try they try to get God out of the school system they try to get God out of government. They're trying so desperately to get God out of the mind of men and women by filling our world with all kind of distractions. Uh, the internet is full of all kind of distraction. The sports arenas, all kind of entertainment and activity, trying to drown out God so that people will be so focused on everything else. Man, sometimes the devil will even start up problems in your own life to where you start thinking about your problems and trying to focus on all the things that you're going through and all the things that you're dealing with and what he's trying to do is to keep you from thinking about God but I got news tonight he is the everlasting God he cannot be silenced he cannot be pushed to the side or be or, or be cast away from the memories of men and women because God placed in every one of us a conscience and he will deal with our heart and he will speak to us because he is from everlasting to everlasting haven't you heard about him haven't you heard that God's not going to let you go that easily? <laughs> Haven't you heard about him that he's not going to give up on you that quickly? Amen. He's not going to just let the devil have you and destroy you. He's going to fight for you tonight. He's going to fight for you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose again from the dead. And do you think he will just let you die lost without him, without getting picked put up a fight? Don't you think God's going to send people to tell you about him? Don't you think that God, haven't you heard that he will call preachers and raise them up and they will preach the gospel and they will tell you that Jesus loves you and that there is no one on this earth that loves you more than God? Haven't you heard that God said he will call his, uh, his servants and rising up early in the morning and he will send them to us and let them preach to us the gospel and let us know how much God really care? Haven't you heard tonight about Jesus? Amen. Come on now, shout with me. If you haven't heard, I'm here to tell you tonight. God loves you. God cares about you. God cares about you. He wants you on his team. He wants you in his family tonight. He don't want you to be an outcast. You see, if you're not saved, if you're not a Christian, if you haven't repented of your sins and accept Jesus Christ into your, Lord, in, into your life as your Lord and Savior, then you're not part of the family of God. You're an outcast. There's only one way to become a part of the family of God, and that is you have to be born again into the family. You have to give your life to Jesus. You have to make Jesus your Lord and Savior, and that's when you become part of the family. I can't say I'm part of your natural family because I wasn't born in your family, right? I mean, I can call you brother, I can call you sister, but 
you're not my biological brothers and sisters. I, 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 I wasn't born into your family. Now in Christ, we are born again by the Spirit of God. We've been made a Christian by repentance and accepting of Jesus Christ into our life. And so now we can say we're all brothers and sisters in the Lord because of that experience. But haven't you heard tonight that without Jesus, you'll never make it to heaven? Haven't you heard tonight that uh, God is the everlasting God and though men are trying so hard to, to get rid of him and though people may think that they can do whatever they want in life and that they're not accountable to God, haven't you heard that God knows everything? Haven't you heard that God sees everything? Haven't you heard that God sees you in the midnight hours when nobody else is looking, uh, uh, looking at what you're doing on your phone or whatever it is? God sees it, haven't you heard? That the everlasting God sees everything? Haven't you heard tonight? As he said in verse 27, he said, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord? What a stupid thing to think. That they're saying, God doesn't see what I do. God doesn't know what I think. God doesn't understand what's going on in my mind and my heart, the things that are done in secret. He said here, he said, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and why speakest thou, Israel, that my way is hid from the Lord? Nothing is hid from God. Haven't you heard? He that made the eyes can see. Haven't you heard? He that made the ears can hear. Haven't you heard? He that made the tongue can speak. I'm here to tell you tonight if you haven't heard. <laughs> haven't you heard? <laughs> You're going to hear that all through the message tonight. I'm excited about Jesus. <laughs> Haven't you heard that the everlasting God knows everything about you and yet he loves you and cares about you? Haven't you heard tonight that, the, that God is the creator of all things as he said in verse 28 there? He said, has thou not known, has thou now heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. God is the one that created us. God is the one that created the heavens. He created the earth. He created the tree, all the animals. He created everything. He is the boss of the earth and the world. He runs everything. Yes, we know Satan may run the life of men and women upon the earth that are not saved. He is the, the, the God of this world, uh, this system, this world that we live in. And he destroys the lives of many people. But he's not the boss. God is the boss, amen? God is the one that controls. The world is still in his hands. When Jesus died and rose again from the dead, he said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. The only power God doesn't take upon himself is the power over our life. We have to give him that power. We have to surrender our life to him and let him become our Lord and Savior. And he said, God is the creator of all things. And not only that, he said, this God, haven't you heard that is the God that we serve? serve does not faint means he doesn't become weak thank God you know we get old as we live and we start getting weaker right Amen. you know this arm that used to bench press so much can't can't do it any longer those knees that you can jump six feet in the, ha in the air and hit the ground and, and do it again. You try it when you get older and you hit the ground and you just stay there for a while. Right? Because you get weak with time. And, and as you live, as, as you get older and older, your body, every part of your body get weaker and weaker. But haven't you heard? God doesn't get weak. His eyes are still sharp. His ears are still good enough to hear your prayers. Haven't you heard tonight that he doesn't faint? He doesn't get, he doesn't become weak with age age or time he doesn't lose courage or strength and the bible said he doesn't get weary he doesn't get tired god can keep up with you tonight he can keep up with us there's no searching out of his understanding the bible said we can't completely figure god out we have to trust him and so the message tonight is haven't you heard that we serve the greatest god that is he's the creator of all things that he knows everything about us he doesn't get weary, he doesn't faint, he doesn't quit, he doesn't give up. Haven't you heard tonight that God is still able to work in your life? Amen. Haven't you heard the message tonight that God is still able to save you from your sins? The Bible said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You've been not saved, God can save you. Haven't you heard tonight? Amen. Haven't you heard that Jesus can change your life? Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus can transform your life. He can take you as you are right now. And He can change you on the inside. Completely change you. He can wash away all your sins. He can change your mind. 
He can change your heart. He can change your attitude. He can change your behavior. He can change everything about you. Haven't you heard tonight that this God that we serve have the ability to completely transform your life? Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus can give strength to you? You say, preach, I'm weak. And I have the ability to do the things that uh, I know is right to do. Listen to what he said in verse 29. He gave it power to the faint, those that are ready to, to quit and those who are weak. He said, God will give you power. Haven't you heard that God can empower you? Amen. 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 Haven't you heard that this God we serve can put strength in your body? can put strength in your spirit. There's no need for us to be discouraged or weak. Jesus can empower you with his power and his spirit tonight. He said, he gave it power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increased its strength. Listen to that. He will take a strong Christian and make them even stronger. He will take a weak person and put strength in them. And someone who is on top of the mountain and is strong in the Lord, he will increase their strength so they can be even stronger. Haven't you heard tonight that God is able to make something out of your life? He's able to do something for you if you just give him a chance. He can, he can transform you completely. He can change you. He can bring good things out of your life. Look at what he said in verse 30 of our Bible reading. He said, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Haven't you heard tonight that God can put strength in you? God can bring good things out of your life. He said, well, preach in my life, uh, uh, and the outside, everything may seem good, but on the inside, there's some things that I, I'm not happy with. There's some things that I'm displeased with in my own life. There's some areas of my life that are full of darkness and sorrow, and, uh, and I'm, not, I'm not content. There's some, there's some places in my life that are still void. There's still some places in my life that I'm unhappy. Haven't you heard tonight that God loves you? Yeah. And that God, if you will give him a chance... Jesus will come into your heart. Power will come into your life. Victory will come into your soul. Strength will come into your spirit. Righteousness will take over your life. God will inhabit you and his presence will live in you and his power will fill you. Haven't you heard tonight that God can do something for you? Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus can transform you 100%? He can come into your life and take out every darkness that is in there. Haven't you heard tonight that God can bring good things out of your life? Your life is not hopeless. <laughs> There's a God in heaven. Your life is not hopeless. There is a God in heaven. Your life is not over. There is a God in heaven that can do something for you. Haven't you heard it tonight? If you haven't, let me tell you. I want to tell you about my Jesus. I want to tell you about what my Jesus can do for you. He can change you. He can love you. He can fill you. He can deliver you. He can do all that you need tonight. The search is over, folks. <laughs> haven't you heard that you don't need to search any longer? You don't need to look into the world any longer. They haven't done anything for you. Anyways, they bring nothing but more misery and more heartache and pain and disappointment and discouragement, backstabbing and all kind of, all kind of stuff. The world is full of nothing but, but heartache and pain. But haven't you heard about Jesus? Haven't you heard about this God that I serve my personal Lord and Savior? I'm testifying to you tonight haven't you heard what jesus can do for you he can make something out of your life he can fill you with power tonight forgive you of all your sins if you will come to him haven't you heard what god can do for you haven't you heard also that god wants you to be in his family haven't you heard tonight that god doesn't want you to be an outcast god doesn't want you to die and go to hell he doesn't want you to suffer in the lake of fire for all of eternity. God loves you and he wants you to become a part of his heavenly family. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 3 verse 23. It said, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us came into this world as an outsider. We were outside of the family of God because of the sin that passed down to us. From Adam and Eve. Our life, our hearts were stained with sin. We were lost from the time that we came into this world. We were born into this world as sinners, lost on our way to hell because the nature of sin 
possess our being. But thanks be unto God. Haven't you heard tonight that God made a way for us? Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus came over 2,000 years ago and he died on the cross and he rose again from the dead and he ascended back into heaven and he's sitting on the throne and he's reaching out to each and every one of us saying, come home, son. Come home, daughter. You don't have to live on the outside. You don't have to be on the outside looking in and looking at all the other people saying, why are they so excited about God? Why do they have peace in their life? Why are, why are they so assured of their final destination? Why do they have such confidence? You don't have to be like that tonight. You can be a part of the family of God. You can be a son and a daughter of God tonight. Haven't you heard that Jesus made a way for you that you can come and receive Christ into your life and you can get up from that altar of prayer and say, Father, I am ready to be your child. Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus will welcome you into his family and said, come home, son. I've been waiting for a long time. Come home, daughter. I've been waiting for you to come and receive me into your life. Haven't you heard that God's been knocking at your heart saying, come home, come home. No need for you to be a stepchild. You can be a real child tonight. No need for you to be an outcast. You can be a part of the family of God. Jesus came to this earth and he died to break all those power of sin and Satan in your life so that, we, so that he can reunite us with our heavenly father and we can become one family forever. In come to this, when I wrap it up with this. Hey, that was short, isn't it? Haven't you heard tonight that a preacher will keep us short every once in a while? <laughs> but the message is, haven't you heard? No need for you to be on the outside looking in. No need for you to be on the outside wondering, does God care about me? Does God love me? Can God forgive me? Can I become a part of the family of God? No need for you to wonder anymore. I'm telling you, haven't you heard that Jesus will accept you? Jesus will forgive you. Jesus will come into your life and he will change you and he will make you such a beautiful person inside out. He will fill your life with beauty. He will give you power and he will full, fill your life with his presence. Have you, haven't you heard tonight that God loves you and he wants you to become a part of his family? Haven't you heard that God really genuinely care about you? Haven't you heard tonight that God desires you to be a part of his team? Haven't you heard that God doesn't give up easily, but he pleads with us to turn to him? Haven't you heard tonight that Jesus is waiting for you? But he will not wait forever and ever. He doesn't get tired, but he gives us a place and a space of grace to come to him. Haven't you heard tonight that if you'll come to this altar and ask Jesus to come into your life, he will come in, he will forgive you, he will wash your sins away. Haven't you heard tonight? Jesus loves you and he died to fulfill all these things in your life. And so tonight we'll spend some time in prayer. She will sing. All of you that join us online tonight, haven't you heard? The God is still able. God is still able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. So tonight as she begin to play and sing, we can come to the altar and pray. If you need God, come on, I'll pray to you. I'll be at the altar anyways. So if you want to accept Jesus into your life, as she playing and singing, let's, let's spend some time in prayer tonight.
you, Jesus. I'm glad I've heard of all the wonderful things that God can do in my life. And I pray that God will continue to work in our life and continue to help us in all that we do for the Lord. Thank you for each and every one of you that join us in line as we worship God together. And, and remember to join us Sunday morning. Be here at 9.30 to worship the Lord. Have a wonderful week in the Lord. And, and just remember, God hasn't changed. And we heard that God is still the same, right? And God doesn't change with time. He doesn't get old. He doesn't get weak. His power doesn't fade. And so with that tonight, we'll close the service in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the service. Thank you for the word of God. Let the word of God speak to many. Use it, anoint it. Accomplish your will. We give thanks and praise to you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.